Hey, Travis, where's Tui? I don't know. Oh, well, this place is a mess. Yeah, where is Tui? My wife's paper basket's full. Well, I'll give him a call. Say, Travis, have we got a topic yet? Yeah, well, we're working on it. Okay. Man, this floor sure needs a good sweeping. Well, he was supposed to come in and sweep and mop up last night. I don't know. Well, it's a little date. The building's condemned anyway. It's been scientifically proved that people think and perform better when they work under sanitary conditions. Squeaky clean, as they say. Squeaky clean. You know, Penelope, the only thing that's squeaky about you is the screw that you've got loose, not to mention the few nuts and bolts that just rattle about a bit. That's what I like about you, BJ. You just say it like it is. No, <laughs> thank you, thank you. From where beneath those sarcastic remarks and stupid grin is a six-year-old brat just screaming to get out. Travis, just look at my file cabinet. Paper cups, pop cans, dirty cleaner. And that's just a reference material. Will you see the real junk? All right. Why don't we all just, just forget about Tui? Well, let's face it, Tui's got no respect. Ha <laughs> if he did, he'd have burned this place down a long time ago. BJ, <laughs> let's drop it and concentrate on this week's topic. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Uh, uh, yes, sir? Have you kids thought of this week's topic yet? Uh, well, uh, uh, we're thinking about that's it, sir. That's the trouble with you, Travis. You think too much. Well, Stop thinking and start doing. Now, I run to my office in two minutes. Is that understood? Uh, yes. Uh, yes, sir. My Stop my thinking life. and start doing. Stop thinking and start doing. It's easy for him to say. Stop thinking and start doing. You want my advice? Stop pacing and start sitting. You're wearing out the floor. PJ, why didn't you take your small mind and park it behind your desk? I say, Penelope, what do you part your hair with? A hacksaw? Hmm? Hey, Bagoon, knock it off. We're trying to come up with a topic. See, so you're still at the Goo Goo Bars there, Moose. I have an energy crisis. More like a chubby crisis, if you ask me. You're not very kind, BJ. BJ, could you have a little more respect for Moose's feelings? Yeah, I may be fat, but I hurt easy. I'll bet you bruise easy, too, don't you? All right, look, why don't we put our hurt feelings and disrespect aside? Now, we've got two minutes to come up with an idea. <sighs> well, we've uh, covered faith and loyalty. Yeah, and belonging and honesty. Love. We did love. A lot you got out of that one. Here they go again. You know, Moose, you ought to have just a little bit of respect for your body and stop eating all those candy bars. I've got it. How about respect? Well, you mean devote a whole issue of scoop to respect? Why not? Why just think of all the kinds of respect that there are. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Wow, now that, now that's another one of Penelope's really dumb ideas. Oh, the trouble with you, B.J. Bagoon, is that you have no Excuse respect me. for other people's ideas. Yeah, I'm with Penelope. I think it's a great idea. Thank you. Here, you get a goo-goo bar. Oh, yeah. Goo-goo is a little gooey. Mm -hmm. B.J., now, come on, honey. It's oh, a super on. idea. Well, just think, there's a respect for property. And authority. And how about self-respect? Mm -hmm. Respect for our health and bodies. Mm -hmm. And how about respect for our country? Mm -hmm. Doesn't anybody care what I think? Not really, but I'm yeah. sure you'll tell us. Well, why do an entire issue of Scoop on Respect when it seems to me that people are more disrespectful than respectful? Oh, brother, leave it to old Bagoon to toss a monkey wrench in the printing press. <laughs> no, no, no. Now, BJ's got a point there. Hey, maybe we can show both. And that way our readers will have a better idea what respect is all about and how to put it to use in their own lives. Yeah. Uh, yes, sir? Come in here! I'm coming, sir. Oh, I wish he'd oh, stop smoking. <laughs> I'm coming, sir! Oh, these cigarettes! <laughs> Oh, guy's oh. got no respect for his lungs, oh. or ours either. <laughs> Hello. I'll check it out. Thank you. Oh. Lagoon here. They must be bugged. I can't figure out where's. Hello. Yep. No. Yeah. Just sec. Daisy, I have a teacher here on the line, so she has a respect problem with her students over at Millard Fillmore Junior High. All righty, I got it. Bye-bye. We're moving, we're moving. Hello, yep. No. No. BJ, mm -hmm. hand me the dictionary, will you? <laughs> Just sec. Thank you. I have to find the meaning of respect. 
back. Hello, Ralph. I see you've got our word. Well, now, how about its meaning? Would you call it with the french fries? I'm trying to think. No respect for company. Can't you see I'm writing a poem? Yeah, well, let's hear it. Dandelions are yellow. Concrete blocks are gray. Learn respect for everyone. I haven't got a last line yet. Well, how about eat sunsweet prunes every day? <laughs> no respect. Well, then listen to what I got to say. That's uh, it. The last line. Listen to what they say. It's a million seller. But I wrote that. Learn to listen, Harvey. That's how you get ahead in this world. Dandelions are yellow. Yeah. Oh, he has no respect for himself. Hey, who put all these boxes here? Well, G2, if you would have come in slower, you would have seen them. Yeah, well, I wish I didn't come in at all. You do? Oh, yeah, Grubel. I want to be a reporter. Not emptying waste baskets and sweeping floors all the time. <sighs> Poor Tui's lost his self-respect. Lost it? I never had it. Well, gee, Tui, you sure seem down in the dumps today. Yeah. I should do what my father does when he feels rotten. Oh, yeah? What's that? Get drunk. Oh. Drunk? Well, sure, why not? Kids at school do it all the time. Oh, but Tui, if alcohol can't help you. Oh, I don't care, Grubles. Sometimes I feel like quitting. Quitting? Yeah. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna quit. Oh, but Tui, what about Scoop? No, Scoop can get along without me. I'm gonna go clean out that conference room and then turn my press pass and then, then I'm gonna go on home. Well, I'm clumsy and stupid. I'm not worth anything around here. Hmm. <gasps> That's today's headline. Tui quits Scoop. Approvals. Did we get any more leads? Nope. The phone never rang once. Oh, dear. Yeah. Oh, boy, I smell food. Yeah. How Thanks. did your story go? Well, you know, if you'd ask me, I'd say that respect was a vanishing virtue. Hey, let's use that for our headline. Well, use what? Vanishing virtue. <laughs> What's vanishing mean? Oh, well, it means disappear. Respect is a vanishing virtue. Respect is disappearing from our way of life. Oh, what are you working on there, Groove? Oh, uh, a surprise story. Surprise oh. story? Let's see. Uh, no. Oh. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> Here. Thank uh, you. What did you say? Well, everything's go. Have we got any leads? I just covered a story on vandalism. Oh, good. Respect for property. Moose came up with a good headline. Oh, yeah? Well, let's hear it. Respect, the vanishing virtue. Yeah, I like it. And if Mr. McGreevy doesn't stop smoking, his lungs will vanish. Well, and when his lungs are gone, then he'll be gone. Groove's got a surprise story. Oh, hey, good. Moose, how's the sports column coming? I'm coming respect in baseball. Fine. Hello, Scoop Newsroom. Moose, some baseball coach. Yeah, Moose here. Hello, everybody. Hey, BJ. Don't move. Well, I'll be right there. Oh, throw up, will you? Say so he was in a hurry. Oh, no. Oh, my. I, I, somebody cleaned up my desk. Somebody cleaned the floor. What happened? Was it Cinderella or was it the Department of Health? Hey, BJ, do you want to get to work? How are you doing? Hello? Daisy's on the line with her story. No, I'll put her on hold. Hey, oh, BJ, mm -hmm. you're good at artwork. Um, how can we illustrate respect? Got just a thing for you. There you go. Real cute. Mm -hmm. No, 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 you keep it. You need all the respect you can get. Travis, Daisy's getting impatient. Okay. 
uh, like obviously this dude just don't dig art. I mean, he just passed himself up an original B.J. Bagoon. As part of Scoop's report on respect, we decided to visit a classroom. Let's see what's happening. So if we'll come to order, we will continue our lesson on limericks. On the chalkboard in front of you is a limerick with only four lines. And I want you to help me finish the last line. There once was a teacher named Dapple. From a student, she got a rotten apple. But all to expect, to him she show respect. Now, who'll start us off on the last line? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Granny Finkel, you're the biggest dope in the classroom. Oh, Agnes, you're a pain in the kazoo. And not. Our soul. And not. Our soul. And not. Knock it off. Yeah. Oh, go pick your nose. I don't pick my nose. You're always picking or scratching something. I think I'm going to get sick. Don't start in toad if you know it's good for you. Don't let her talk to you that way. Don't talk to me that way, Agnes. It gives me gas. Look, Marshmallow. The name's Marshall, not Marshmallow. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Now let's finish with our limerick. Oh, wow. Heavy duty. Teachers are people. They're robots. <laughs> Robot, robot, teacher's a robot. Now look what you did. Yeah, look, Miss McGillicuddy's crying. You blew it, Agnes. Man, I never saw her cry like that before. I think you gave her gas. I, I think maybe we should say we're sorry. Good old Barbara Brown knows. Thanks a lot, Freddie. No, Barbara's right. How can Miss McGillicuddy teach anything if we don't respect what she's trying to do? I, I think maybe we should tell her we're sorry. We'd like to say we're sorry. Why, thank you, Marshall. Okay, now let's continue with our limericks. Okay, gang, we got 10 minutes to meet our deadline. Oh, uh, well, I've got a special headline story. Yeah? It's on uh, unemployment. Unemployment? unemployment? Sure. Well, wait. No, this says two he quit scoop. Yep. What? But, but, but why would two he quit? Well, I tried to talk to him. Talk to him? Why, yeah. did he have a problem? With a name like Tui Hooten, who wouldn't have a problem? Well, sure, Travis. Uh, Tui comes in here every night and sleeps and cleans and... Well, nobody appreciates what he does. And he contributed a lot. Yeah, I'll always remember those beautiful words he carved on his broom handle. I gave it the office. No, oh. Bongo, but it's not that kind of contribution. Say, Moose, no? when we don't appreciate respect to him, well, then he doesn't respect what he does. No, it's worse than that, gang. Tui doesn't respect himself. You mean he's lost his self-respect. Mm -hmm. And when people don't believe in themselves, they become quitters. The really bad thing is, is that Tui wants to get drunk. Oh, drunk? Wow. Yeah. I thought Moose was dumb. Hey. hey Groove, you don't mind if we don't print this, do yeah, you? Yeah, come on, Groove. Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't we go find Tui and tell him how much he means to us? Yeah, oh, come on, DJ. Yeah. Let's go to him. How do we know he's lost? Well, Groobles just said yeah, he's he was... Yeah, to his bicycles just outside the building. You mean he's still here? Yeah. Hey, BJ, Tui's still here. You know, that's what I like about you, Moose. You're so quick. All right, look, now we still got a newspaper to get out. Uh, hey, crew, you can write pretty fast, can't you? Well, sure. What do you got in mind, Daisy? Well, we can still have that headline. Daisy's right. We can run a special front page story on two. Yeah. 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 Hey, great idea. Hey, yeah. hey, I got a great idea. Why don't we give him a bowling trophy? That'd make him feel oh, good. Oh, yeah. man, what are you using for grades? Oh. What's he going to do with a bowling trophy? Shine it? No. Well, All he right. likes to dust, doesn't he? Let's stop talking and start doing... Hey, we're going to show Tui Hooten that we care for him and respect what he does. Okay. Yeah. I'm a man, you can tell I am, by my point of brew. I go to happy hour at Herbie's bar 
where I are an hour or two. Man needs his drinking and to know what you're thinking, but I know when to quit. And when I don't, I promise I will never drive. My brain cells and my liver, somehow they'll survive. It's a crazy mixed of world and it's just great to be alive. Let's drink to that. Can you drink to that? Broken up families, can you drink to that? You better think before you're last drink. You would be better off with a safer hobby like golf. Or tennis, swimming, basketball, croquet, or high life. They all make you manly, but they won't help you die. So take a drink to that. 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 Take a drink to
It's just our little way of letting you know that we care for you. We've come to respect you and your job. You mean a lot to us, little fella. <sighs> yeah, our scoop just couldn't get along without you. Really? Yeah, Tui, it's, it's guys like you who make the world go around. Jeez, I don't know what to say. You guys made me feel really important. Ah, uh, Tui, that's great. Look, just don't let it go to your head because there's nothing I hate worse than an uppity janitor. Nothing, sir. Has the paper gone out yet? Well, uh, uh, no, sir. Then what are you hanging around for? Uh, well, sir. If I'm we... gonna come down over, and I can't pay you kids overtime. Now shut up the lights and start delivering. We're, we're leaving, sir. <laughs> there goes our party. I heard a party poopers, but this guy takes the cake. Yeah. All right, all right. Everybody meet back here bright and early tomorrow morning. Well, see you tomorrow, Travis. Good night, Penelope. Good night. I can't tell you how happy I am to hear that you're back to normal again. Five nuts in this office are enough. We love you, Tui. Ha, ha. <laughs> hey, BJ, you want to ride home on my bike? Great, I didn't know you had the training wheels off. What? Hey, you mean a lot to us, Tui. Hang in there. Oh, I left a little something on my desk for you. Hey, thanks, Moose. Well, Tui, old buddy, you know, cleaning up this dust and the yellow waxy buildup. Well, it's been a lot to us here at Scoop. I don't know what to say. Well, I'll just say thank you. See you later, Tui. Bye. Bye-bye, honey. Always remember, Tui, that you and your job are important. A little respect sure goes a long way, doesn't it? It sure does. I'll see you in the morning. See ya. Jeez. My job's important. I feel appreciated. Oh, well, I'll just take the old broom and clean up. Jeez, look at this place. Confetti and trash all over. Well, he, he's gone home, sir. Oh, is that you, Cooey? 
Oh, yes, sir. I was just cleaning up. Say, I want to thank you for that front page. You're welcome, Joey. Oh, well, I guess I'll finish cleaning up now, sir. Joey! Yes, sir? Sir? Joey, can I ask you a personal question? Well, yes, sir. Tell me, Joey. Do you think my employees respect me? Very much, sir. Why, well, everything we learned about the newspaper, we learned from you. Oh, thank you, sir. Now, let me ask you one more thing. Do they respect you? They sure do. Well, just think of it, sir. Me way down here on the bottom pushing a broom, and you way up there on top. It feels good to respect each other like we do, doesn't it? Uh, it's respect for life, Tui. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's why I respect my parents and teachers. And you, Mr. McGreevy. Well, we care a lot about you, sir. I guess that's why we hope you stop smoking and drinking all the time. We care, sir. <clears throat> Good night, Tui. Good night, sir. <laughs>